All right, everyone, for this Thursday, March 23rd, 2023, story I brought uh, yesterday, the Denver High School shooting, a 17-year-old gunman found dead in the woods, coroner's office says, and uh, let me take you to this story as we see what's going on in the world today as we're looking at Bible prophecy and end times, world news and current events. The suspect in a Colorado high school shooting uh, is dead, a coroner has confirmed. A body found in the woods near an abandoned car was that of a 17-year-old student accused of wounding two administrators Wednesday at East High School in Denver. Park County Sheriff Tom McGraw said uh, the body was discovered Wednesday not far from the student's car in a remote mountain area about 50 miles southwest of Denver near the small town of Bailey in Park County. Uh, this Associated Press reported, and uh, I guess this is a picture here, Denver police identified Austin Lyle as the East High School shooting suspect. Um, he was wanted for the criminal uh, charge of attempted homicide. He, In a statement to Facebook, the Park County Coroner's Office said, uh, it can't confirm the identification of the decedent found tonight on the Park County Road. It can, rather, I'm sorry. It can confirm the identification of the decedent found tonight on Park County Road 68 as Austin Lyle born in 2005. And uh, so the shooter they found, uh, I guess, had taken his own life. And uh, our prayers for the... Uh, school administrators that are still uh, uh, suffering the after effects of this uh, senseless shooting all the way around. And uh, on to the grand jury in New York. Is they're not expected to consider Trump case today, sources say. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg had uh, convened a grand jury to hear evidence in case against former President Donald Trump. They were supposed to Kick it off today around noon. They're going to be there today, but they're not going to hear the uh, Donald Trump uh, case. A Manhattan jury will not hear testimony or deliberate or vote on the hush money case against former President Donald Trump uh, today. A source has confirmed uh, to Fox News. I wonder, is Alan Bragg, uh, Alvin rather, Bragg, feeling the heat, uh, feeling the pressure? And uh, maybe just uh, realizes the uh, uh, grand jury, there's just not enough to convict Trump. We're going to have to see how this plays out. All right, let me move uh, up here a little bit. All right, let's see. This is, uh, of course, my computer is acting strange today. Frightening new fungus, Candida auris. What is it? Who is susceptible? And I believe the elderly and those with a low immune system are susceptible. New fungus Candida auris. And uh, let me bring you this story. Cases of uh, a potentially deadly fungus have risen to an alarming rate, uh, sparking a warning from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention the CDC that it is an urgent threat in a recent release about a new published uh, new study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. Cases have soared nearly 200 percent from 467 cases in 2019 to 1,471 in 2021, and those cases were detected in over half of U.S. states. The CDC report uh, found Candidus auris a or C. auris is a fungus typically found in hospital settings and long-term care facilities, like if you have your loved one in a, a nursing home facility. And it's a type of yeast or yeast infection. CDC says cases of lethal fungus tripled in recent years. So I guess this can be deadly. This can be lethal. Uh, it can cause severe infections and death in those who are uh, immunocompromised or have underlying medical issues and indwelling devices, health experts told Fox News Digital. The first case in the United States was back in 2013 
with early cases found mainly in New York City and Chicago, according to the published CDC report. So there's a fungus, a fungi, Candidus, Candida oris, that uh, we've got to be very careful of and uh, keep an eye on, uh, especially for those in long-term care in the hospital. Uh, settings or in uh, nursing homes uh, be prepared be informed and uh, that's our news for Thursday morning March 23rd in the year of our Lord 2023 like subscribe ring the bell follow me on here on rumble leave me comments everyone